We're going to take a live look at I-465 near I-69 where INDOT continues work on the Clear Path Project. You may have noticed more police officers in this and other areas recently, but we have learned that law enforcement is boosting their presence in some major construction zones this week. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik shows us why. Orange cones, lane restrictions and closed exits. These are all the things coming along with road work on I-465 on the northeast side, gradually slowing things down a bit. It's not what people are used to on 465, you know, the works with the work zone, it's 45 miles an hour. That's why you're seeing so many police exit after exit along I-465 and I-69, where we're seeing some of the largest changes right now. And so not only are we placing uh, troopers and IMPD officers uh, throughout these zones for visibility, uh, we're also strategically placing them to respond to calls in those zones so that we can get them cleared up and cleaned up as quickly as possible. According to INDOT, crashes in work zones resulted in 31 deaths and more than 1,400 injuries last year. 80% of the time, the people who die are the drivers or passengers. When somebody hits the back of stop traffic at highway speed, uh, oftentimes it, it's deadly uh, and it's devastating. That's why Sergeant John Perrine with ISP says you'll often see many of these lone police police cars flashing lights before the construction. Uh, sometimes we place those police cars with lights on before the zone just to hope to start to grab somebody's attention, get them to slow down and make them start paying attention to what's ahead of them. Starting next year, construction zones will also get an additional layer of protection. Work sites will get security cameras as part of a new state pilot program. It's going to be in some specific work zones that we're seeing a lot of speeding, um, a lot of crashes, this, that and the other. INDON hasn't announced where the cameras will go just yet, but the department says we could likely see some in Marion County. From the northeast side, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Michael.